Need advice? Download the free Hello Doctor app on any mobile phone and connect with our doctors right away for reliable personal advice. Go to hellodoctor.com and chat to a doctor anytime, anywhere for less than the cost of an apple a day. Everyone has heard from somebody, their mother, their co-worker, the lady in the queue in front of them, that it's not healthy to cross your legs when sitting. Some say it gives you high blood pressure. Some say it slows your circulation. And your mom always told you it would give you varicose veins. Remember on Gertrude's veiny legs? Yep. Well, in places like Turkey and Ghana, people may consider the practice offensive. Whereas in the good old days, it was a sign of modesty. These days, almost everyone crosses their legs at some point, whether it's conscious or unconscious, for custom or for comfort, or for no reason at all. So, what does the evidence say, fact or fiction? Well, it turns out that it's not necessary to cross this habit off the list just yet. One of the reasons you are advised to uncross is because blood pressure rises slightly when you cross your legs at the knee. Is that a bad thing? Well, elevated blood pressure is never good, but there is no evidence to show that leg crossing contributes to ongoing high blood pressure. And once you uncross your legs, your blood pressure returns to normal. Ta-da! If you happen to be having your blood pressure measured, however, then it's best to have both feet firmly on the floor to rule out any false readings. If you've already been diagnosed with high blood pressure, then you might want to avoid crossing your legs for long periods of time. On the flip side, if you're prone to having low blood pressure and feel a bit faint and wobbly when you stand up too quickly, then leg crossing might actually work to your advantage. As you stand up, your blood pressure drops and blood is pulled towards your extremities thanks to gravity. It's because of this movement of blood away from your brain that you feel so woozy and need to hold onto something to kind of keep your balance. By crossing your legs and increasing your blood pressure ever so little, it's possible that you could offset the sudden drop and save yourself some dizziness. So what about those unsightly spider veins then? I mean, they appear more often in women, so being proper and crossing your pins must be the cause, right? <laughs> Wrong. While crossing your legs may draw more attention to varicose veins, research lets the legs off the hook for this one too. Instead, the problem seems to depend more on genetics. Which side of the family was on Gertie's from again? Hmm, and how well the valves inside your veins function. If you're concerned about long-term nerve damage after experiencing pins and needles after sitting with your legs crossed for a while, fear not. Prolonged compression of the nerve that runs along the outer part of your knee can sometimes make your foot fall asleep. It's not dangerous or a sign of impending paralysis, and after a few seconds, things will return to normal. So is there any right or wrong way to cross your legs? Well, not really. It boils down to what feels right for you. The bottom line is that you're unlikely to do any long-lasting harm simply by crossing your legs while sitting. It's sitting. That's the real hazard, though. So rather, don't make yourself comfortable in the first place. Get up and uh, get moving. Need advice? Download the free Hello Doctor app on any mobile phone and connect with our doctors right away for reliable personal advice. Go to hellodoctor.com and chat to a doctor anytime, anywhere for less than the cost of an apple a day.